Hi everyone, and welcome back to Cryptoanthropologist, which is my made-up word for the study of civilizations who seem to have disappeared from our normal history books. Last week I made a video about some of what I think are the seven most interesting megalithic ruins scattered across Micronesia and the Pacific Islands. What's particularly intriguing about the Pacific Island civilizations is that most of them are located thousands of kilometers away from the nearest inhabited islands. Also, many Pacific Island megaliths were quarried hundreds of kilometers from where they were built, sometimes even from other islands. This meant that rocks weighing an axis of 50 tons needed to be transported across the open ocean by boat. Of those seven, some of them were pretty famous, like Easter Island or Nanmadol, while others are not very well known, such as the Pyramid in Samoa. In this video, we'll look at some awesome facts about Pulemele Mound, also known as the Samoan Pyramid. Standing 12 meters high, with a base of 3,900 square meters, the Pulemele Mound is the largest and oldest megalithic monument in Samoa. The site is located around 2.7 kilometers inland and 100 meters above sea level. Like many megaliths of the Pacific Ocean, Pulemele Pyramid is constructed primarily of basalt rock. The pyramid has a rectangular base consisting of three levels and a flat top, much like the other pyramids of the Americas. Researchers have dated the site to have been built in stages starting from around 800 BC until 1400 AD. It was eventually deserted around 1800 AD. Evidence of human activity throughout that time period indicates a thriving civilization in Samoa for at least a thousand years. Movement away from the structure was likely due to infrastructure and development led by the European explorers. According to experts, this new discovery proves that Samoa's population before colonialism was far larger than previously thought. There are several different theories about the settlement of Samoa. According to New Zealand scientists, findings show that Samoa was first settled by Austronesians between three to three and a half thousand years ago during an eastward expansion from Southeast Asia. However, the years between 750 BC and 1000 AD are often referred to as the Samoan Dark Ages due to very few findings during that time period. Because of this, it is unclear exactly who built the pyramid. What this mound was actually used for is something that has puzzled archaeologists and historians alike since it was first discovered in the 1800s. Several ideas of why the mound was created have been proposed for this structure. This includes religious ceremonies, as a lookout platform, or as a burial monument. In the late 20th century, traces of a certain plant were discovered in stone ovens around the mound. This plant was regularly used in cultural or religious practices, indicating that the site may have been a religious monument. Most likely, the pyramid served multiple different functions, but in truth, the reason for its construction still remains unknown. The ruins of Pulemele Mound were first mapped in the 1960s. While no excavation was conducted, the mound itself was measured and mapped. In 1977, yet another survey was conducted. This was the first time that the area was fully mapped in detail. The survey uncovered over 3,000 man-made features, including housing, walls, walkways, and more. The Pulemele Mound is shaped into eight separate sections or cog. When viewed from above, it has the shape of a star, hence giving the, the nickname Star Mound. In 2017, a LiDAR scan revealed something shocking. Aside from the area that was previously mapped, researchers uncovered an extensive network of housing and walkways, including over 80 of these star mounds. Most of these are located in difficult to reach areas or have been buried under the island's shrubbery over the years. Based on the sheer number of star mounds that were found, one must question what they were used for. Using LiDAR technology, researchers have discovered hundreds of platforms measuring about 50 meters by 50 meters that to this day, no one knows what they were used for, who built them, or really even when. Some of these areas are so huge they would have required a lot of labor and a lot of organization, which suggests that a large number of people must have been involved in building a complex that big. In another village called Sili in Samoa, LiDAR imaging revealed a platform larger than a football field measuring 100 meters wide and 200 meters in length. Prior to the LiDAR scan, most of these monuments were thought to have been natural hills. 
Because of this, it's possible that many historically significant sites may have been bulldozed for future developments. The pyramid is located on an abandoned plantation surrounded by dense jungle. The road to the pyramid requires a 40-minute hike through an unmarked trail, so it may require a local guide to find it. Most of the mound remains hidden beneath the island's vegetation. However, once you reach it, you can climb to the top and enjoy a beautiful ocean view of Samoa's coastline. Earlier this year, in 2020, the Pulemele Mound was listed for sale in the newspaper Samoa Observer. The structure is located on a piece of land covering more than a thousand acres, which is the largest freehold property on Samoa. The advertisement read, the property's key features include rainforests, waterfalls, ocean views, and ancient archaeological sites that would lend itself to a variety of endeavors. The sale prompted extensive protests from local residents as well as historians who started an online petition to stop it. In June 2020, the owners of the land announced that the site of the pyramid would not be for sale. Which of these facts about the Samoa Pyramid did you find to be the most interesting? In case you've also heard of other things which aren't mentioned here, feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in my next video.